7.30 on a Sunday. It's kind of crazy. Right now we are sleeping. No, at what the, the fuck? I'm not sleeping. <laughs> laying at a historic downtown of Lima, Peru. I think we are laying in one of the most beautiful places in Lima right now. I don't know if I'm supposed to be laying here, but I follow the locals. There's a lady over well, there. Well, <laughs> Policia is right in front of us, and they actually saw us laying here and they say nothing so Valentine's Day be like Hola. Hola. look at that <laughs> the Instagram story that Jimmy just posted is so funny there's so many eagles and so many the birds vultures. in this park yeah whatever So this is the main historic center of Lima, Peru, and it's actually the first part of the city that was built. So this was the very first part that was developed, and everything else was desert. And then as the years went on, it slowly started to build, and build out, and out, and out. And then the, actually the colonies, that are the, like the cities that were in the mountains, the people living, slowly started to get eaten by Lima, and basically become a part of Lima. It's really a lot of museums and a lot of beautiful, absolutely stunning architecture. So it's a really nice place to come out, explore around, while getting lunch and stuff. And in 1988, it was actually declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So if you're into trying to hit all the World Heritage Sites across the world, this is definitely a beautiful one to see. I have no idea. Aguay Masana. Aguay Masana. Aguay Masana. It's really good. So good. It tastes like guava with apple. It's like an apple sauce. It's I don't know what that is. It's not potato. Oh, it's not potato as well. I mean, I can't know why potato we are in, in Peru. They have more than 4,000 kinds of potato here. So it's the big things. I got papacienta, which is like basically potatoes with meat in it. And then he just said, and he pointed at all of it. So I said, sure. And I got potatoes, corn, rice, and some sort of like, I think, spicy mustard, which is quite good. Yeah. I have so much change already. Wow, if you walk around here guys, you will see the first impression is that the balcony in Lima is beautiful. It's like, I know, it's, I've never seen a balcony like it. It's like, some of them are two stories. And they basically said that the, the balcony is a sign of wealth.
But guys, Barranco is so stunning in terms of like, like modern housing. Totally different from historic. I want to stay at this place, like right here. Next time, not this time. Maybe when I can afford it. <laughs> <laughs> We, we have this right place here. Is beautiful. Is it still considered Barranco? So this is considered Mira Forest. Basically, Barranco and Mira Forest is like close by, and it's considered to be the upscale neighborhood of Lima, Peru. Yeah. So this is like we didn't expect this seriously when we got to Barranco yesterday to see the coastline the way it is, but Barranco sits right on the cliffside. And actually, so does this. M Mia Flores. M Mira Mira Flores. Flores sits right on the coast as well. And it is a beautiful view with this lighthouse. So it's 260 souls for 10 minutes. But that per includes person. a video and the flight. But look. But at it's first, a beautiful view. Yeah. At first, Jimmy and I was thinking that probably this is like where helicopter yeah, land. I, so. I was like, oh my god, it's so flat. Probably it's for helicopter. Apparently not. You can do paragliding here. Is it called paragli paragliding? I know, right? It looks like a piece of like... Oh, I know what it looks like. It looks like snakes. No, ta. What this it look tree like looks like Finding Nemo's home. You know that little like thing in the reefs? Yeah. That's moving? True. And Nemo pops out and he pops back in and he pops out. It literally looks just like that. I've never seen a tree like this. This is the coolest looking tree ever. For one second, I thought it was a snake. Doesn't it look like snakes? Yeah. Oh, dude, look at sunset right now. That's so stunning. Look at it, guys. Ah, oh, so sad you guys can't see it well, but this is probably one no, of the most beautiful sunset that we have seen in a while. Yeah. Oh, look at look at the flare. The flare touched my hair. Can you see that? Oh yeah. <laughs> All along the park. You are adorable. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> it smells so good, yeah, but now we more craving for the real food So we're just gonna walk further along this course and see if they have another street food or not besides this cute little crepe store You know it's how much? Two Gracias What is that churros? Yeah. I think churros, right? Yeah, churros. See, churros, okay How is it? You can like say it right now in front of her. <laughs> it's quite stale, but it's really good. It's layered with sugar and filled with like a caramel. At least there's one thing that besides cream. Yeah. Gracias. What is that? What's in it? Three soles. Salchicha. Chicha? What's chicha? A chicha is alcohol. Uh, I think it's beans. Um, sure, I'll try it. Three salt. Gracias. What is it inside? It's a hot dog inside. A lot of bread. Can I try? Yeah. It's a hot dog for sure. I'm not a fan of hot dogs, but I just saw it. I wanted to try it. It's quite good, but still not a fan of hot dogs. But it is really good. So before coming to Peru, 
to start our South America trip in general. Uh, one of our friends told me that when I am in Peru, probably a lot of people would think that I am Peruvian. When I arrive, I see so many people that I thought they are Thai. Like they exactly look like Thai. And now I get why they say that. Probably people are gonna think that I look Peruvian. <laughs> Of course, Barranco is also well known for the graffiti art. and street art. So much going on here down at Barranco Square. That's so crazy behind us there, like a lion. I think this is probably one of the most happening place in Barranco and Mira Forest. I can't believe it's like 10 o'clock at night and this place is popping. Like there is tons of people out here it's like at the 10 o'clock at night. It's like the later it is, the more people there are. There's everything from street dancing to salsa to live performances. To never seen so many Frenchies in my entire life. So actually this is like right down the road from our apartment. It's only like, only costs about seven souls to get seven from our soul. apartment to here. It's like a 10 minute drive. Let's talk a little bit about the first impression we have in Barranco versus the historic, this historic district downtown of Lima, Peru. So when we actually do the research on where to stay in Lima, the top two area, come up on the list on Airbnb is first of all the historic district and Barranco. Barranco together with Mira Forest. Everything is so well set and organized like down here we are standing and just right below us they got like a section for the artist right there like all of them just gather here so you can't see like scatter how can I say that how can I put that into words? like people like scattering yeah, of spread out so it's not like spread out, it's in one section. So right now it's like almost 10 and as you guys know, to me it's like an early bird when it comes to bedtime. I so go to bed at like 9 o'clock. You're gonna have to go home. If you guys have like short period of time in Barranco or Mira Forest in general, I would say if you want to see a lot of local way of life, then I would say this square, one of the top places that you have to visit so far in Barranco because you see so many people here. 